everyone. Nice to meet you with another great video. I'm Shanika Vikramasinghe and I'm a software engineer. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure DB2 as the database type using Docker. According to Docker, a container is a lightweight standalone executable package of a piece of software that has everything needed to run it. With Docker containers, you can have multiple versions of the same database easily accessible from your machines. And also, the most important factor is that Docker is platform independent. Therefore, Docker can run across both Windows and Linux-based platforms. So I think this video tutorial will be really helpful for you all to get DB2 configured easily with Docker. So let's get started. So before starting with um, installing DB2 on Docker, there is a prerequisite step. Uh, there is a prerequisite step that you all have to follow. So that is you have to get installed Docker on your machines. So in this video tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to get installed Docker on your machines. Uh, so I assume that you have already done that. So if you haven't done that, uh, in brief, I have included uh, the required commands that you can use on Linux OS to get installed Docker. So the first thing you have to do is you have to ensure the downloads are valid and you have to add the GPG K for the official Docker repository for your system. So for that, you can use this curl command. Then to add the Docker repository to apt sources, you can use this add apt repository command. Uh, which is uh, mentioned in the second bullet point. Then to update the package database with the Docker packages from the newly added repo, you can use this sudo apt get update command. Next, to make sure that you are about to install from the Docker repository, uh, you can done that using this apt cache command. Then after that, you are good to install Docker. So for that, you can use this sudo apt get install uh, minus y docker minus ce command. Then after uh, following these steps, finally, you can uh, check the status of the docker. So to check the status, you can use this sudo systemctl status docker command. So I will show you how to use this final command. So after you have successfully configured docker in your machines you can get the last command and then go to the command prompt and paste the command. So here, once this command is entered, you can see that the Docker service is successfully running in your machine. So I have uh, already installed Docker in my machine. So it will be shown with the green color. Uh, dot icon like this and its status will be shown as active running. So if this is shown like this, you have successfully installed Docker in your machine and you are now good to go for the second step. So the next important uh, part of this video tutorial is how to get installed DB2 database uh, with Docker. So you already got installed Docker and now you can get installed DB2 on top of that Docker. So here I have mentioned the version as 11.5 because uh, the currently we have 11.5 as the latest version, but uh, using the same command, if you want to get installed a older version or a latest version. So for both uh, those situations, you can use the same command. So the command is uh, you have to use this docker run command for this name parameter. You can provide anything that you prefer then you have to set this privileged as true. Then the minus P will denotes the port. So this 50,000 port is the default port that DB2 will be running. So you can keep it as it is. Then make license to accept state. And then you can set the DB2 password. So for this also, you can set any password that you prefer. Then here you can uh, give a default uh, database name. So I have given test DB here. And uh, in the below of the slide, I have included the sample command. So here uh, I have given the DB2 uh, password as the DB2 inst1. 
and the DB name I have given as test. So next, let's look at how this command is working. Go to the terminal, get that command copy, and you can paste it and hit enter. So after this command gets successfully executed, you can see this long string value which is getting printed in the terminal. So this denotes the uh, container ID uh, for the Docker image that got configured in your machine. So if you get a log like this, this container ID, uh, if it is getting printed successfully in the terminal, that means the Docker run command has executed successfully. So next, let's look at how to access and log in to the installed Docker container. So now you have installed the Docker container successfully in, uh, in your machine. So now uh, let's see how you can access and log in to the installed Docker container. So for that, you can use uh, this sudo docker exec command. But before that, if you want to uh, get the Docker container ID or any other detail related to the uh, Docker container that is running in your machine, you can use this first command, which is, which is uh, sudo docker ps minus a. So this will list all the available containers which are available uh, in your machine. Then after that, from this first command, you can find the container ID and the container name, and then you can use the second command uh, to access the Docker container. So here, uh, docker exec minus i minus t, and then here you have to provide the docker container name or the docker container ID. So next, the third command, uh, which is su minus db2 inst1 is used uh, to log in uh, to the configured db2 instance. Then the final command, which is the db2 start command is to start the db2 server. So next, let's look at how these four commands are working. Let's try the first command, sudo docker ps minus a. So here you can see all the Docker containers which are available in your machine are now getting printed here. This first one, uh, which is uh, showing the status as up is the docker container that we got configured a few minutes back for db2. So if you want to get more information about the currently running docker containers, then you can use this docker ps command. So you can see the output of this command. So it will show the db2 instance the db2 container that is currently running in your machine and it will show some other details as well it's created time status and the ports next let's access this container using this second command so here you have to get the container id And hit enter. So now you can see this container ID and this ID is same. So you have successfully now logged into the container. Next, you can use the third command to access the DB2 server. So this successful log will be getting printed if you get successfully logged into the db2 server it will show you the last login time and now you are good to start the db2 server you can see this log that is getting printed so it will show the database manager is already active so this means now you are uh, you have configured db2 successfully and you have accessed it and uh, now it is successfully running in your machines
So next, let's look at how to create a DB2 database inside the Docker container. So for that, there are two important commands. First command is the create database command. Uh, so you have to use db to create database and then provide the database name that you prefer. Then the second command is use to connect to the created database. So for that, you can use this connect command. Then you have to provide the database name and then you have to provide the username and the password. So here I have provided both as db2 inst1. So next, let's look at how these two commands are working. So in my container, this already exists. This database is already existing. So I'm putting here one. This will take some time to get the database created. Now the database got successfully created. So you can see this lock, the create database command completed successfully. So this means now this has created successfully. So next, we can use the second command to connect to the created database. Here you have to provide the same database name. And you can see now the connected database will be printed here as test db1. So now that you have configured Docker and then you have configured db2 inside that Docker and you have successfully accessed that container and have created the database inside the Docker database uh, inside the db2 server. So uh, after completing these steps, the next step is uh, how to uh, connect to this database using some other third party database tools. So next let's look at how to do that. So next we are going to see how to access the created database with DB Weaver. So for this demonstration, I have used DB Weaver as the tool but there are some other tools as well in the market that you can use. For example, you can use data grip tool uh, as well. And also there are some other tools as well. Uh, but this DB Weaver tool is much user friendly. So I'm using that uh, for this demonstration. And now let's, uh, let's look at how we can um, connect to the created database using this tool. So here I assume that you have already um, downloaded DB Weaver tool. So if not, you can go to their official website and get the DB Weaver tool. So if not, you can go to their official website and get the DB Weaver uh, tool um, downloaded. So after it is successfully downloaded, So after it is successfully downloaded, um, it will contain a file like this. Go inside DB Weaver folder and run the server.
This is the community edition and the version is 21.3.2. Here below the file section, you can uh, see a drop down like this. Click on that drop down to get a new database connection. So, here all the supported database types will be listed. So, we are going to use DB2 from here. Select that. Once it's selected, you have to configure this um, window. So, first you have to give the host name. So, you got your Docker installed uh, on your local machines. Uh, so the host will be localhost. Then the port will be 50,000. Test db1 is the database name. db2 inst1 is the username and the password also same. Next go to this uh, driver properties window and uh, see whether you have already downloaded the driver for this db2 uh, version so if not uh, using this uh, window you can get the driver installed for your db weaver tool so as i have previously used db2 uh, on my uh, db weaver tool so i have already installed this driver so if it is not installed it will give you a window uh, to click on um, a few uh, windows and using those uh, steps, you can get the latest driver installed for your tool. So after uh, verifying these steps, you can click on this test connection button to check the connection. So now it will show the uh, driver version which is running, it's 4.26.14. And now you can click on finish. Now I got successfully connected uh, for the created database. So right click on that, go to SQL editor, click on new SQL script. Now using this SQL script, you can get any of the database queries that you want to get executed against this DB2 database. So you can hit, uh, you can enter any of the queries that you want here and then using these um, icons you can get them executed successfully against the created database so i think with this uh, you have now successfully configured a db2 database uh, with docker and you have successfully accessed it via commands as well as uh, using a third party tool like uh, db weaver so that's it uh, for this video tutorial I think uh, this video tutorial will be helpful for you all to get started with configuring DB2 using Docker. So if you like this video and if you want to see more of uh, videos like this, you can like this video and you can subscribe to our channel. So let's meet with another video and until that, thank you all for watching this video.